guys welcome to tech mode and welcome to the part 2 of basically explaining black box testing techniques and in this technique we are going to learn about what is equivalence class partitions and how an efficient tester use it so let's get started so what is an equivalent class partitioning so in this technique basically you are going to divide your test conditions into a partition that can be considered same so uh, I know this is a little bit tricky, so let's get with the example. So as you can see on the screen, we have mentioned that suppose we have an input box that, that can take only 10 integer as a maximum value, right? So using the equivalence class partitioning technique, what we can do is that we can convert them into a valid or invalid cases. So what are the valid, valid cases? So we have divided these uh, cases into four conditions. The first one includes any number that is greater than 10 is considered as invalid case right and any number less than 1 or 0 is below is also considered as invalid test case whereas number between 1 to 100 are considered as valid test cases because these are the valid test cases that we wanted to test it out and any three digit number minus 100 is also invalid case so we have divided our test cases or basically kind of our page or whatever input box that we have into four test cases that we can think about it why we are using the equivalent class partition so it's basically it used to re reduce the large number of test cases into manageable chunks so suppose if you have like 100 if you have like 10 input box then if you reduce the text 10 input box test cases using equivalence class partition then within a, like 20 or 21 or 25 test cases you can basically have uh, your test cases and po possibly you can just test it out using black any black box technique right and the second advantage that we are, why we are using the equivalence class partition is that it has very clear guidelines and without compromising the effectiveness of testing. So basically it means is that uh, we are efficiently testing with our number of test cases which that basically covering the 100% of logic that a particular in, uh, test case that can have. So any introduction of bug will be very 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 less chances have like very like less chances. So the third part introduced that helpful in the application with large number of variables and inputs. So suppose if you have a sign up form and login form and very large forms that you have to fill it out. For example, if you wanted to fix what text have anything else, then these kind of testing techniques that basically the black box testing techniques using this equivalence equivalent class partition, it's very, very efficient. So let's uh, understand that that we have the previous example that we have discussed using this pictures so basically anything between minus infinity to zero is an invalid test case for us so it is a uh, one partition one to hundred is a valid partition 11 to 99 is an invalid and after that is also an invalid partition so we what we have done is that basically divided into three chunks and whereas we are not testing the boundary values because boundary value that we have previously discussed in the first tutorial is different here we are just concerned about the partitions what kind of partition that we can make with our input box and these partitions basically covering the 100% coverage of it and we are not getting any kind of work of it similarly let's take an example of this again this login page here we, what we have is that uh, pass password should be between 6 to 72 characters and now we are we have applied the equals partition so as you can see the 0 to 5 characters in the password feeds are valid case not a valid case invalid case one partition partition 2 contains 6 to 72 that is a valid partition and the third one includes the 73 and above cases these are invalid partitions and so with the three partition test cases we can have a 100% coverage that it will be a bug free testing that we have done using black box technique you and by applying one of the technique in black box which is equivalent class partition so thanks a lot it's a very quick tutorial and very simple tutorial uh, about equivalence class partitioning and uh, if you have liked this video please share with your friends and then thanks and like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial where we are discussing about the next black book technique and bye